Hey, I'm Sapphire, and today we're gonna to be trying Adele's diet for seven days. I'm expecting to lose a bit of weight on this diet because it's pretty restrictive and a little bit crazy. Adele recently went through an amazing, inspirational, and a little bit controversial transformation. Apparently, people don't like when you congratulate Adele on her weight loss. I don't know, but I'm gonna completely ignore those people and read you a letter I wrote to Adele. Hello, you look amazing. When I saw your transformation, it was like the sky fell. I just wanna be someone like you. I hope your diet will make me as hot and thin as when we were young. I'm ready to be rolling in the delicious search and rich foods this week when I try your cert food diet. Love you, mama. I hope Adele likes my letter when she watches this video. If not, that's okay too. Okay, so this diet basically consists of three different phases. The first phase is restricting your calories to a thousand calories per day. You basically drink three green juices a day. Don't eat any meals besides dinner. You wake up, you have your green juice, and you just eat like a search you in rich, cert food rich dinner. <laughs> the second phase of this diet raises your calorie intake a little bit. So you're eating 1500 calories a day, and then you have two juices a day. You have two meals a day. So basically juice, lunch, dinner, and that's it. The third phase of this diet involves no calorie restriction. So you basically just eat cert foods, all day and you just try and eat as many as possible and it's kind of like intuitive eating you just listen to your body you don't restrict you just focus on what you're putting in your body so this is all the stuff that i got for the green juice this is arugula celery, got parsley, um, lemons, apples, kale, and then ginger. So I'm just gonna be making the juice now. Honestly, I'm scared because I haven't really used this juicer. Pray for me, okay, y'all? Okay. Hey, y'all. If I die from this, this looks scary. Making the juice is so much work. Like, I, I can't believe how much work it is. You're supposed to drink three of these a day. All right, guys, green juice first impression. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's actually, it's not bad for having so much green stuff in it. I mean, I like that it's nutritious. <laughs> and I am making dinner right now. I'm gonna be making some chicken and salmon, kale and arugula salad with some red onions um, because those are all apparently foods that are high in sirtuin. Since I had my second green juice of the day, I am feeling a lot better and I've also been drinking green tea and water and that's really been helping me through the day. <laughs>
this is my dinner that I literally cannot be more excited to eat. I have my salad with arugula, kale, green peppers, and red onions, and then um, some salmon, and then I also have some chicken just because I made some chicken as well so that I could meal prep for the week. And I wanted to have both because this salmon filet I cut kind of small. And yeah, and then I just made the vinaigrette and I used it for salad dressing. So I'm gonna go eat this now. I'm so excited to eat it. I'm gonna be having some of this um, dark chocolate now. I honestly don't even like dark chocolate that much, but it says eat it with dinner and <laughs> let's see, maybe I'll like it now because your like, taste buds change. I got a golden ticket. <laughs> Not that bad, I guess. These are the two meal preps I made for work and I'm gonna be making more later because I'm working three days this week. <laughs> some green tea i had some water today not gonna lie yesterday was a hard ass day it was my first day back at work first of all after having the coronavirus and that was already hard in itself like um it was hard to just stand for that long after not standing for that long and then also my body doesn't feel like it has its energy back yet so that also sucked and then i got hungry and i'm working and like Someone brought us a carrot cake. There's like pastries everywhere. We're making these delicious beverages. Marshmallow flavored syrup. And all I can think is I'm going to be allowed to eat at dinner time after I drink all this green juice all day. So I honestly did not wait till dinner time. I had lunch at like literally 2.45 p.m. All I ate when I got home was two dark chocolate squares. I also had one dark chocolate square at work. So I had three dark chocolate squares in total for the day. I woke up this morning and my body's like, what the hell are you doing? You are hungry, you need to eat, but I'm not eating. I'm having green tea. Today is gonna be the first day where I up my calories in this diet. So I'm gonna be allowed to have two meals. I'm gonna try and be somewhat active today, but I'm definitely feeling tired and weak and frail little body. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So I made a salad and some salmon, which I already started eating. It's full of search to enrich foods like red onions, paper, arugula, search to enrich food, kale, search to enrich food, some spring mix. Salmon, and I just made like a honey lime Dijon vinaigrette the other day with olive oil. I think I showed you guys that, but just gonna try the salad. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's, this is actually a really good salad. By the way, shout out to Gordon Ramsay. I watched a five minute Gordon Ramsay video on how to cook crispy salmon. I'm a chef now, I'm a professional chef. so excited and a little out of breath because I ordered these books from a bookshop and they do book delivery and my books are here so I'm gonna open this and show you the book that I got. Big books. Let me show you what I got. So this is called Caraval and I think it's about like some kind of carnival world 
um, type thing. So I'll let you know how it is when I start reading it. And then this is Lovely War. And um, I heard about these books from this book vlogger that I um, watch and she talks about her favorite books. Yeah, I'm really excited to read these. So I am going for a walk right now, probably to the store just to get a couple things. I don't want to do too much, but I want to get my steps in for the day. I'm still trying to take it easy and like let my body recover and heal and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just going to go for a little bit of a walk. I'm wearing my winter coat because it has been raining all day and I think it's like five degrees Celsius. That's too cold for me and I don't have a winter coat. So I'm going to go for a walk in the rain. Walking in the rain kind of makes me feel like I live in like Vancouver or the Pacific Northwest or something and I love that for us. So I'm just gonna have this um, meal prep that I made but I didn't do the vegetables yet, so I'm gonna do just like saute some garlic, kale, and olive oil. Uh, someone ninja'd my house. They wine ninja'd my house. If you don't know, this is like a trend that's going around where people leave like wine and snacks and stuff at other people's doors. Look at this. 90 calories per serving and they must have looked at my pictures and saw my dry ass lips because they got me chapstick and candles this is so cute oh, just a quick note while editing some of the days i don't have too much footage because i was eating the same thing every day it was kind of like kale salmon and quinoa every single day and it also took a lot of effort for me to prepare it well I, I meal prepped it so a lot of the times i was just microwaving it but then the other times that i actually prepared the food fresh it took so much effort that i couldn't even film because i i'm low-key still recovering from covid so doing anything just requires so much energy and it takes a lot out of me basically just fill in the blanks with me eating kale and quinoa and salmon One thing that I have for sure learned about this diet is that it is very high maintenance. You have to like make this juice regularly and then like at least have a few good recipes that you're willing to prep. There's nothing really in this diet that you can just make quickly and eat, like maybe a salad, but no one really wants to eat kale salad with red onions and arugula every day. In conclusion, will this diet make you lose seven pounds in seven days? Yes. You will probably gain it back a little bit once you start incorporating more food, like solid foods into your diet, but you will lose seven pounds in seven days and it will be motivating. This diet wasn't so bad. I did like the results that I saw from this diet. I would modify it, modify it a bit. I like the idea of it. I don't think it's necessary to restrict your diet so much only to those foods, but if I saw more science, then I would be more inclined to stick to this diet. Adele looks amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle for seven days long. Give a thumbs up. I don't know what I'm doing.